the motor constants are numbers that define how a given electric motor behaves and if you want to use something like my, my calculator uh, you need to know these constants because that's how you define to the calculator the motor and, and once you have it defined in there then you can run the uh, editor and the simulation in there and see how the motor behaves under different voltage and loads and, and all of that and I'm, 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 going to, I'm only going to talk about brushless outrunner motors uh, brushed motors are a little bit different and you measure those contents a, a little bit differently for those motors so I'm not going to talk about those at all and uh, I, I wish I could say that I, I've come up with a real simple very accurate and easy to understand method for measuring these constants but I, I haven't because you really can't and it, it's very troublesome because you, you cannot measure the constants directly for, for different reasons and I'll talk about that later so so what I've done is I've simplified things as much as possible and let you uh, so I'm going to have a series of videos that you can watch and decide which is the method that makes most sense for you because the different methods have different trade-offs some of them are easier to do some of them are more accurate and some of them are safer and, and for me safety is a big deal so I tend to use methods that are safer uh, even though they might be more troublesome and they might be a little bit less accurate but for me for me that's a good trade-off but I'll talk about the trade-offs involved and um, but also there's trade-offs involved as far as the, the tools that you need to have available and some tools are more accurate some tools are more expensive so I'll talk about some of different ways that, uh, that you can do these measurements and I'll, I'll have some links to you know in case you need to buy something uh, you can uh, find a link on, online so anyway, uh, hopefully by the end you'll have a much better understanding of uh, the motor constants and, uh, and, and then you can decide how, how you want to measure them. But the three constants that, I, that I'm going to be covering, uh, the first one is called the winding resistance or, or RM or, or motor resistance. And it's basically just the electrical resistance in one loop in, in the motor winding. and the second constant is called the I0 or the no load current and that's literally just the, the, the minimum amount of current that you need to have for the motor to turn so, it's, so that's re really just uh, the, the loss in electrical efficiency that you have or, or electrical power just to get the motor going and, and these two constants are very important for measuring the efficiency of a motor um, you know they're not so important to, to uh, when it comes to actually applying a motor uh, the, the critical one for that is called the voltage constant or, or KV and it's probably the one that you've heard of and that's it, it's, it's a multiplier for the input voltage that you use to to estimate what the RPM of the motor is going to be and you know it, it's never exactly that amount because there are losses involved and it's probably going to be less but but it's a key value to a key constant for knowing how big of a propeller you can use in that motor so but all three are important and all three are needed if you want to use my calculator and uh, till next time